Hello grade 12 students and welcome to our first technical English lesson this year. Please open your course book page 4 and let's start our lesson. Let's start with the objectives of today's lesson. After studying this lesson you will be able to learn vocabulary for safety equipment and telecommunications, listen to a news report about an RC rescue to answer questions about it. Starter. Imagine that you are in a boat in the middle of the ocean. There has been an accident and the boat is sinking. What equipment will you need to have in the boat in order to get rescued? Try to think of as many equipment as you can and write them down, then come back when you finish. Welcome back, my dear students. Let's have a look at some equipment you will need to have in your boat. You will need to have a radio, a beacon, a flare, a life jacket, a life raft. Good. Now let's start the first exercise. All you have to do is to look at the picture and study it carefully. Then we have to answer the three questions below it. Let's study the words together. Our first word is the word flare. Flare is a very bright light or colored smoke that can be used as a signal or a device that produces this. Winch. A winch is a machine that lifts heavy objects by turning a chain or rope around a tube shaped device life jacket a life jacket is a piece of equipment like a jacket without sleeves that is filled with air or light material and is designed to help you float if you fall into water life raft it's a type of boat that is carried on a large ship and is used in emergencies for example when the ship is sinking to take people to safety Beacon. Beacon is a device that sends a signal or information. Radio. It's a piece of electronic equipment that can send and receive spoken messages or signals. Now let's have a look at this exercise. Complete the following sentences with words from the books. We have three words here. All you have to do is to try to complete the sentences, then come back when you finish to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answers. We have three words here in the box. The first word is life raft, winch, flare. Let's have a look at the first sentence. Two helicopters space the passengers to safety from the deck of the ship what's your answer good winched let's move to the second sentence we set off a space to help guide our rescuers good flare now let's move to the last sentence a space is a type of boat that is carried on a large ship and is used in emergencies for example when the ship is sinking, a life raft. Good. Now let's answer the three questions. Pause the video and answer the questions, then play the video again to check your answers. You have two minutes. F start from now. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answers. Which ones stop you from sinking? Good. Life raft and life jacket. Number two, tell the rescuers where you are. Good. Flare, beacon, radio. Which one? Rescue you from the water. 
wench. Good. Now let's move to exercise number two, listening. All you have to do, you will listen to a news report and put the six safety devices we have just studied in exercise one in the order the reporter mentions them. You will listen now and try to put them in the correct order. Unit 1. Systems. Recording 2. A dramatic air-sea rescue took place at 11 a.m. this morning in the Indian Ocean. Two sailors were pulled up from the sea into a helicopter using a powerful winch, in very rough seas and a high wind. The sailors were in a small boat, the Tiger, about 77 kilometers from land, Suddenly, their boat struck an object, and it sank almost immediately. The sailors wanted to send an emergency signal by radio, but the boat went down too quickly, and the radio sank with the boat. So, the men did the best thing to save their lives. They inflated their life raft and jumped in. They were already wearing their life jackets, of course, but their problem was how to call for help 77 kilometers from land. Fortunately, the boat had a free-floating beacon, which activated when the boat sank to four meters. The beacon detached itself from the boat, floated to the surface of the sea, and switched on automatically. Then it transmitted a signal to the rescue satellites. The rescue team received the emergency signal and raced in their helicopter to the two men in the life raft. When the helicopter came close to the life raft, the sailors fired two flares. The pilot saw the flares and brought the helicopter over the life raft. Then the sailors were winched up. The whole rescue operation, from the moment the tiger sank, took only 90 minutes thanks to the automatic beacon and the satellite system it was linked to. Now, which device did you hear first? Good. Winch. Then? Radio. Life raft. Life jacket. Beacon. And the last one, Fleur. Now, put these statements in the order the events actually happen. Then listen again to check your answers. Take your time, put them in the order, and then I'm going to let you listen again to check your answers. Now, let's listen to check your answer. Unit 1. Systems. Recording 2. A dramatic air-sea rescue took place at 11 a.m. this morning in the Indian Ocean. Two sailors were pulled up from the sea into a helicopter using a powerful winch, in very rough seas and a high wind. The sailors were in a small boat, the Tiger, about 77 kilometers from land, Suddenly, their boat struck an object, and it sank almost immediately. The sailors wanted to send an emergency signal by radio, but the boat went down too quickly, and the radio sank with the boat. So, the men did the best thing to save their lives. They inflated their life raft and jumped in. They were already wearing their life jackets, of course, but their problem was how to call for help 77 kilometers from land. Fortunately, the boat had a free-floating beacon, which activated when the boat sank to four meters. The beacon detached itself from the boat, floated to the surface of the sea, and switched on automatically. Then it transmitted a signal to the rescue satellites. 
The rescue team received the emergency signal and raced in their helicopter to the two men in the life raft. When the helicopter came close to the life raft, the sailors fired two flares. The pilot saw the flares and brought the helicopter over the life raft. Then the sailors were winched up. The whole rescue operation, from the moment the tiger sank, took only 90 minutes, thanks to the automatic beacon and the satellite system it was linked to. Now let's check your answers. Number one, the boat struck on an, an object in the sea. Number two, good, the boat sank. Number three, the sailors inflated the life raft and jumped in. Number four, the beacon detached itself from the boat. Number five, the beacon sent a signal to the satellite. Then, the sailors fired two flares into the air. The rescue team saw the flares and finally the helicopter winched the sailors out of the life raft. Good. Now please open your workbooks page 4 and let's do the first exercise. Exercise number 1. Match the words and phrases 1 to 8 with the definitions A to H. You have 5 minutes to do the exercise, then come back after 5 minutes to check your answers. Welcome back, my dear students. Now let's check your answers. Flares. Flares means emergency devices that produce a bright flame. Emergency beacon. What is the emergency beacon? It's a device that sends a signal in an emergency. Inflate. It, inflate means to fill something flexible with air so that it becomes larger. Number four satellite. It's a machine that is sent to into space and orbits the earth. Emergency signal. Emergency signals are a series of radio waves that are sent in an emergency. Winch. Winch means to lift someone or something with a wire and a lifting machine. Coast Guard. The organization that helps boats in danger. Life raft, it's be a small rubber boat used by people from a sinking ship. This is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Till we meet again in a new lesson. Goodbye.